sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at a few friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's, it's just a hall, dude. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Mm, cozy is fun. If we had to double up like last time, we'd be married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure? What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school? What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows what you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't, cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Oh, I know. Where'd it go? Uh. It's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? Marty, speak. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Jesus <Shit>. Christ. <coughs> you trying to scare me now? No. Revenge? Because good job. <sighs> How do I do it? You sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I, I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but dust and allergies and I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, cozy. <laughs> you gonna try that? And Why now you're not? poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant, decent vintage. Sure.
I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. Ooh. It's this one. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant to thinking you were a cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Not because I am bashful. I swear. Really. Sorry, didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Uh, uh. Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just, um. What are you doing? Uh, oh my God, I, uh, I... <laughs> oh, you bitch! I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Who is that? <sighs> Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me 10, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. Okay, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. <sighs> To be continued, then? Yes, definitely. I'll make them quick. Quick Good choices. luck finding your rooms. Where the hell are they going? That's supposed to be Katie. Sorry. 
found his bedroom. Well? I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Oh, Lord. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking stressed? That sound like uh... it. That was rhetorical. <laughs> well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. Old. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumet. Did you find them? I, no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <gasps> Jesus. Check the other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. It's only clothes and, uh, uh, this. Notice of eviction. The studio? I paid the studio rent out the wrong account and the check bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another. It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Yep. Are you saying somebody took them? I, I don't... Actually, I can Somehow. see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in Diction. bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. All right, I guess. Have to find your six. It's my spare cap. Exactly the same? Well, it suits me. What's weird about that? Crazy. Can't have two of the same hats. Did. So, stressing out. What's this? Yellow Cross by T.S. Hartley. story. So out we go. Is it this way? No, there's nothing over here. So I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean You'd tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure, but... It's fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, What's this? But... You have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, OK? Good evening. Thank you for allowing me to contact you directly. experience Hey, 
Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was yes. just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... assistant? Why is your sound... A personal assistant? ...person helping sort you? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. Ow. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, 10, 22, 22. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something Fuck important off, you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies? Can we move on from this? I suppose I should be thankful it's just my cigarettes that I'm missing and not our gear. So you should bring some nicotine patches. Or some extras. Put some on you. Hell, it's cheese. They're here somewhere. Oh, okay. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. He's not there. We saw him leave. Well, not us, but... Jamie saw him leave. with keyhole. It's gonna be unlocked with keys. How original. Informative. Doesn't he have a lockpick? Who's here? Hmm. Oh, we got a key. Erin! Erin! I found the key! checked in okay well let's go check the bar all right why don't I go check for a gift shop or something I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Bring the lighter up. Can't see shit. Hello? Thank you. It's funny. Brighter. Mr. Okay. Dumet? Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Good morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell, Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room Hector just Tuesday. outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Okay. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, 
Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man. What does this have to do with uh, the Hotel of the World Fair, though? Some six. Wow! An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. will it be, Mr. Dumet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes? Figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. I'll trust it. The last pack. Let me examine this first. This cup. Ow. Every time. Can I flip it or no? Shit or something. All right, let's grab him. Yes, <laughs> yes. <sighs> of course, it was exact change. Damn it. Turn back. Like that. I don't suppose you've got any spare change back there, have you? Thought not. Let's break his machine. rounds on me. Promise. Get your change. Okay. Okay, that was just that. It's so hard to see. Again. Like, hey, your machine's broken. What? No. 
No, please. I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. All right, let's ask this guy. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Ha! Don't kill him. What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. Oh, no. Uh, antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Better start yeah. running. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Jesus. 